seriously about to not film because of my hair. I'm gonna wash it, but I was gonna work out after this, so like, am I about to, you know what? You know what? Bobby pins. I usually almost put a hat on. You can see I already have my makeup on, so we're, we're not gonna be doing that. My night was fucked. When I was driving Sean to work today, the drive to Detroit, and then when I drove to Dearborn and back to go to therapy, I probably saw 40 cars pulled over getting their tires changed because of potholes. Like, these things aren't even potholes. No, they're craters. They're chunks of concrete missing. And so driving, driving today, I was trying to be very, very careful and not hit any and whatnot. And I ran out of the house tonight to go meet up with Felicia and I was doing a little U-turn on Woodward and um, mm -hmm, like it brings you back and and I turned off the radio. I said fuck a bunch of times. And luckily I had the thought like before I got on the highway cause I was probably only, I was like five minutes from home. I pulled over into a bank and I got out of the car cause I'm like maybe, like maybe, 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 maybe. I got out of my car and I can hear Tss. brand new tires. Close. <laughs> get it because I blew a tire <laughs> oh I missed my calling I just got off the phone with my mom I talked to her for two hours because I haven't talked to her in a while you know I'm gonna catch her off gotta keep her up to date on the life and um like it's just I just uh, what the fuck did I want to talk about oh, dude ugh I was telling my mom tonight about my channel. My little brother has a channel too. He does Let's Plays. I think that's code for nerd. <laughs> oh, I'm such a funny big sis. He's hilarious. I'm not a video game person, so like, but even I enjoy them. He and my mom do them together. And it's just like, they are a hoot. I mean, I have the same, I, we all have very similar senses of humor. Uh, if, if profanity offends you, this is definitely not the channel for you. And I'm talking about mine and his. I was telling them about like, that I've been recording and whatnot. And then I was telling them about how I made, I have made and edited three videos already. And then I have two that I want to edit. Um, but I was telling them how I had three already edited and two of them between the iCloud and the iPad and the iPhone and I managed to delete two of my videos and when I said it I was on the phone with my mom but she had me on speaker and I hear my little brother going like oh that hurts my heart and I'm like yeah but they were my first videos they weren't you know I learned from them so I'm trying to be glass half full but yeah so what can you hear that? My house isn't under attack. My husband is just deaf and likes to play video games at the loudest volume possible. I know what I'll talk about. I wanna talk about positivity. It sounds weird. Stay with me, ride it out. How I wanna lose weight. And I'm not gonna tell you what my weight is and I'm not gonna tell you what my goal weight is because I'm about to tell you that I'm trying to lose 40 pounds. And obviously if I tell you one or the other, you'll be able to know how much I weigh. And I don't, I'm, I'm not ready. And it's not that I am embarrassed by the number because I realize that even right now at my heaviest that I've ever been, well, technically not because I have lost five pounds, but my weight is some people's goal weight. Maybe not final goal weight, but goal weight. You know, there are people out there who weigh 200 plus, 300 plus, and it's like they would kill to weigh what I weigh. So... You know, I was talking to Sean and I was, I've decided that when I lose 20, I will tell you what I started at, where I'm at, what my goal is and all that. And, and I told him, I was like, I just want to wait until I've lost just some weight because I'm just, I'm, I'm disappointed in myself. I am disappointed that I let it happen. And I, I appreciate, and so I don't want to say this. And if you're one of those people be like, oh my God, like, I don't want you to feel bad. I say that to say this, I watch a lot of YouTube videos and there are so many disclaimers and there it's one thing to have a disclaimer of like, hey, I'm about to make money if you buy this. Like not talking about that disclaimer, I'm talking about like, a, oh, let's do a fun video and I'm gonna smash all the makeup that I hate. 
But before I do, if you love this makeup, I don't want you to be offended. Like, you fucking kidding me? I, I have to apologize that you and I might not like the same sponge. You know that there are people on the other side of the world who don't have like water or there are people who it does sound like their houses are being shot up all the time because they are like, and I'm really sorry if you don't like the, the real techniques beauty sponge. Like it just fucking blows my mind. And you're not going to find that shit here. I'm trying not to make this my intro video, but you're not going to find that shit here. I need you to know this about me, that I am not trying to offend anybody, but I guarantee you that I will because I'm an offensive bitch. It's funny to think about how people describe you because I always think about this. If, if you were to ask my big sister to describe me, she always says I'm loyal and she also says that I'm very sensitive. But when you meet me, I mean, listen to the sound of my voice. Like I kind of, I like, I'm, I'm coming at you, right? Like, and so I have, people have this, this perception of me that I'm, you know, tough and a bitch and this and that. And I mean, I am, I do consider myself to be tough and I do consider myself to be a bitch, but like, I am also extremely sensitive. I'm very sensitive. I'm very protective of my heart and myself and my feelings. I'm very protective of people I care about. I need you to know that I'm not a shitty person, but I might say something one day that's going to offend you. And I don't have time, unless you want to sit through a two hour video, to preface and have disclaimers of like, by the way, before I talk about this, I don't want you to feel, for example, with my weight, I weigh an amount and let's just say it's 200 pounds. I don't want to sit here and be like, I weigh 200 pounds. I am disappointed and ashamed and oh, I'm disgusting and you weigh 250 and you're thinking, well, she thinks I'm disgusting. It's not about you, it's about me. I just like, I don't have the kind of time to analyze and think and prepare for everything that I might maybe perhaps possibly offend someone with. To be fair, I do think we live in a world where like, we shouldn't be assholes. So I'm not trying to say that to be like, toughen up, bitch, but I'm saying, I think I'm a good person, I'm a kind person, and I care a lot, and that is my purpose here. That is my goal here, is that I want you to sit and watch me. First of all, I'll give you something, you know, to watch, but I'm, I'm here to, you know that feeling you get when someone says something and you're like, right? And it's just like, that comfort because I'm not going to sit here and be like cheesy and be like I just want you to know that you're not alone but yeah I mean that's kind of what I'm going with is you're not alone like I want you to know that I get it I I consider myself to be a really like I'm a devil's advocate it's it's actually really annoying it's my least favorite quality about myself <laughs> not really my least favorite but it's definitely annoying to me because I will sit here and have a conversation with you but not really you won't say a word I'll just sit here and I'll be like well blah 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 but then on the other hand technically da 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 well I guess to be fair if I were him blah 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 and it's like bitch I'm hurt why do I have to sit here and devil's advocate up the ass about you being a dick you know this turned into a fucking intro video it's not gonna be my intro video I'm not settling for it so you might have you might receive you might receive this message twice <laughs> <laughs> I want to make you laugh and I want you to feel like you got someone who gets you and if people watch awesome if people don't I don't really care because it sounds kind of funny but like I know my mom will watch and I know my friends will watch and so I know I know I'll make my mom laugh that's for sure and I don't know if it's because I'm her daughter and she just feels bad for me or <laughs> you know I'm fucking hilarious. I hope you find what you're looking for in one of my videos. <laughs> I hope that I can, you can relate to me and I hope that I can relate to you. And I just went on a huge tangent. <laughs> it's taken me 14 minutes to get there. I don't want I don't want to have to worry about every little thing I say. 
a big topic of conversation in a lot of my videos will be my anxiety and my depression and if you've ever struggled with anxiety because I feel like depression is easier to understand because you're sad and people understand sadness. Now it's way more complicated than that because it's like but why are you sad and all that shit but at least sadness is a concept people can relate to. Anxiety? Not everyone understands that. You know if you've never experienced anxiety yourself or it's just Imagine you're going in for a really big interview and it's for your dream job and you need it to go perfectly. And I'm on the outside and you look sharp and you look good and your hair is done and your makeup's done and you smell nice. Your resume is impressive. Your education, you're, you're eloquent in the way you speak. And I think you knock it out of the park. But you... Are sitting there and you're like I actually forgot to put deodorant on and we've all had important meetings we've all had important interviews and that feeling you have of everything has to be just so and you beat yourself up over it and you pick apart every little thing and that stress and pressure you put on yourself that is what I deal with with my anxiety every day and I'm not trying to get sympathy I want people to just understand. I don't need sympathy. I don't ever want that message to get confused. I don't want anyone to ever think like, she's Louise, all she ever does is talk about herself and her depression and anxiety and she's just looking for pity. I'm not. I just want to help people who are experiencing it to feel like people get it. And I want people who don't experience it to go, oh, you know what? Okay. Yeah. I've been to an interview and I've Beat myself up for it. And you feel that all the time? Mm-hmm. I lost my shit at Taco Bell the other day. On the inside. Because I can bury it. But like... Like, oh my gosh. Like, I'm itching right now. I don't like the drive-thru. At all. Anyway. And if I have to go through the drive-thru with other people... who? If I have to go through the drive-thru with my husband... Kill me now. I love him so much. But he is so far unanxious that it like, he'll go to the drive through and you know, hi, can I help you? And he'll be like, yeah, just one second. And I'm sitting there like, they said, can they help you? Like, have you never been to Taco Bell before? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And like to him, completely unfazed because to him, it's like, oh, what happens? A stranger's mad at me? Like I'm ordering food, get over it. So we go to Taco Bell the other day and it was almost two o'clock in the morning. Don't judge me. I just really want to talk about and we went to Taco Bell first because it was closing at two and it was a quarter to two. And actually when I found that fact out, I told Sean, I don't want to go to Taco Bell anymore. I don't. Why? Because they're closing. No, they're not. They're not closing for 15 more minutes. I'm like, they are gonna hate us. But he, without saying anything, guilted me into going. So I pull in and I was like, you better know what you want when we get there. So pull up and fuck this Taco Bell. They never have any of the fucking ingredients. Like the guy literally was like, hi, welcome to Taco Bell. Just let you know, we are out of tortilla shells, cheese, beans, meat, boxes, and straws. And so I was like, are you out of the box or are you out of the contents? Everything. Okay, thanks. So we pull away. So we go to CVS because that's actually why I went out was to get dog food. I run in, I come out, and I get in the car and Sean goes, hey, good news, the, the Taco Bell on Woodward, they've, uh, they're open till three. You, you want me to go to the Taco Bell on Woodward, don't you? Yeah. <sighs> Love of my life. We pull up and we sat there for an entire Demi Lovato song and no one said like, hi, can I help you? So I'm like, I'm just gonna pull away. And Sean's like, no. I'm like, well, what am I supposed to do? Like, I tried the whole like, hello. Like, do I honk my horn? Because then it's like, well, that might be rude. Then people started pulling up behind me. So Sean goes, no, just wait. I'll call him. My, like, and what's funny is, like, hearing the story, it's like, first of all, it's not that big a deal. And he calls Taco Bell and he was like, are you guys still open? And they're like, yeah. And he was like, oh, because I'm, I'm at the drive-thru and no one said anything. And of course, I'm like, you know, realistically, like, they're in the wrong. I'm at your fucking drive-thru. 
take my fucking order. But of course I'm like, oh my gosh, they're gonna be mad at us now. Like, I don't know why I think everyone in the food industry is so vindictive. So we go to order and I had the thing in my mind that I wanted. We don't serve that after 11 o'clock. Like I've already gone to two Taco Bells at this point. I've suffered through going through the drive-thru that just gives me hives. I've reprimanded myself because I'm breaking my diet and then you don't even have it or you won't serve it. Like why? Is it forbidden? Are you not allowed to touch the avocado at this hour? So, okay, well, do you serve the nacho cheese box at this time? Cause that's what Sean wanted. And he goes, yeah. I want to be like, it was a fair fucking question. So we get our Taco Bell. Do you see how dramatic I made that? But it just like, <sighs> that's how I live my life. Like ordering food. I had to go, I had to call AAA today cause I got a flat tire. Thank goodness I didn't have to talk to a person. And the funny thing about that is for nine years, I worked in a call center. I interacted with people on the phone all the time. And I can tell you until the last call I ever made stressed me the fuck out. I don't, I don't know why. I hate the grocery store. I'm getting better, but I hate it. The checkout line at the grocery store, usually, first of all, I don't go to the grocery store alone and I will usually walk away while like they're ringing us up. It's so dumb. And so that's frustrating because it is dumb. I realize how stupid I sound and it's me. I've known myself for a while now and, uh, if I think I'm dumb, what are strangers going to think of me? So then I get to live in the bubble that is my crazy anxiety because I can't talk to anyone about it because I sound like a wing nut. So do you see why anxiety can be really lonely? <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> I really hope Sean can hear me up here laughing with myself. He loves me so much. Yeah. Whoop, there it is. <sighs> I think I'm gonna stop now. If you ever have a topic though, or a question or like something like stimulate me, <laughs> give me some topics, give me some things you wanna talk about or questions or whatever. Like I, I hope people watch my videos because I wanna interact with people. Like what kind of gave me this idea to begin with was there have been a few instances where I've posted on my Facebook about like my anxiety and I've always posted it as like a therapeutic thing. And I get, you know, I've gotten texts from people after that messages, comments. I have to burp. It's coming. Hold on. Wait for it. <clears throat> and if you're waiting for me to say, excuse me, you will be waiting a very long time better out than in. I'll have people message me, text me, send me comment, whatever, you know, like, oh my gosh, thank you for posting this. Like, and again, this is one of those, like, I'm overanalyzing what I'm about to say because I'm not, I'm not like, I'm a hero, but like, I've had people tell me I went back to the doctor and got on medication and got back on my medication because of you talking about it and making me realize and did oh my that's awesome because I want to help that's what I'm trying to do so if you ever like I want that I want interaction so if you ever have something you want to ask or whatever like reach out to me because that would be awesome I would love that I would be smitten by that I would go out with that do you know what movie that's quoting That went down funny, super bad. I hope you stick around. Maybe this video wasn't your cup of tea. Like, give me like a couple more chances. I feel like if you really wanna decide if you like me or not, watch the video of me and my husband. I don't know if I'm gonna be posting it before or after this one, but I have already filmed it. And he is adorable. Little piece of eye candy. Or maybe he's like really ugly and I'm just like, you know, rose colored glasses. You know what, on that note, and on, you know, back to the whole, like, I'm loyal and protective. If you have anything negative to say about my husband, well, you've seen Taken. You know, the whole, like, I have a particular set of skills. I will find you. I will kill you. Call me Liam Neeson. No, I'm kidding. I'm not kidding, but I'm 
kidding. I want to see like, it is weird to sit in front of a camera and just like talk to it, especially because I'm doing this on my iPad. And so like, I'm looking at the camera and I'm doing really good. And I'm trying really hard not to look at the giant like, ooh, there I am. Because, you know, people, we're conceited. You, you, you see your reflection and you're just like, of course, in this case, I'm like, is my hair always this fucking frizzy? Like, I'm actually not liking what I'm seeing, which is probably why it's so easy for me to keep my eyes on the camera. I think it, it is weird to sit in front of, uh, of a camera and just kind of talk to it randomly. I know I'll get used to it. In fact, this is my sixth video I filmed and I already feel way more comfortable. Um, but if you want to really get a glimpse of like, of me, of me and who I am, watch that one. That's like my favorite video so far. I'm so proud of it because I just fucking, I fucking love the shit out of Sean. He's so damn cute. He just lights up my life. And that is the cutest thing you'll ever hear me say about him because I don't do that. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm not a more loving wife. That'd be a fun topic. Why don't you show love to your husband? You want to know why? Because he was spoiled as a child. I don't know that for a fact, but it's a really good guess. And um, I got to knock him down a few pegs. And I know if my sister-in-law is watching this, Rena, you know, fuck, if my brother-in-law my brother -in -law is watching this, Brandon, you know, you know, you know your brother was spoiled. I have Metro family. But like, how could you not? He's like, he's, we have two dogs. Tangent, side note, random. We have two dogs, Isabel and Sansa. Isabel's the light of my life. When she dies, if she dies. I don't even, I don't even want to go there. I love dogs. They are the greatest gift. Like, if I'm going through my favorites that God's ever given me, you know, there's Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Dogs. And then like friends, family and shit like that. And you know, it's like, oh, you're so funny. Dead fucking serious. Yes, mom. I think I love my dogs more than you. Because my dog never has never yelled at me. And she just like, she's fucking adorable. And I do have two. Isabel is beautiful. She's a border collie, but she's mostly black. And she has like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like tear up talking about her. She has like fluffy ears. And she does this thing when she, when you talk to her, I could literally just call her in here and, and, and kill the mystery. And then there's Sansa, who is an American lab mix. We don't really fucking know. And she's cute, but she's also in her defense. She's like eight months old. Whereas Isabel is nine years old. You wouldn't know it. Whenever I tell people how old Isabel is, they're like, she's nine? Cause she's so spry and, and, and angelic. She's beautiful when she jumps. But Sean and I are so much our dogs. You've got Isabel who is cranky, sleeps a lot, likes her own personal space, doesn't like to cuddle all that much. Like sometimes she's in the mood, but sometimes she just doesn't want to be touched. When she sleeps, she sleeps just like me, which is just like this. Mm -hmm. You know, she eats her food out of her bowl. And then you have Sansa who like tries to eat Isabel's food all the time. She finishes her food and then goes for Isabel's. If I had to describe Sean in, in a sentence, that's it. She's really hyper, in your face all the time. And yeah, so we are so very much like our dogs. I literally don't remember why I started talking about this. Sansa loves to cuddle though. She is a good cuddler. Like she like, and she puts her little head on your shoulder and it just like, oh, it just melts my soul. Melts my soul. I'm just gonna stop there because I don't know what I was talking about. Oh my gosh, I remember where I was going with that tangent. Sansa! Sa Sansa! Hi, honey! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh, she's so cute! Oh, she's so fat! It's just a number, Sansa. Ugh. This is Sansa. This is Sandra. Oh, I fucking love you. I just want to nail one on your face. My point was talking about my dogs. First of all, see what I mean? Like, she's cute, but she's just cute because she's a puppy. I'm so I'm sorry. It's on the it's on the inside. And you know, maybe if you hadn't shit on my carpet three times a day, we'd be better friends. Look at her cuddle me. Ah, I can't even cut again. I'm trying really hard not to cry right now. I remembered why I went on the tangent about my dogs. Don't leave me, please. And she doesn't. I'm just so distracted with her fuzziness. You think this one's fuzzy? I have a cuter one. 
Come on, Angel. Oh, Sandra, everyone wants to see your face. Look at her. Help me. Oh. <laughs> she bites just like her dad. Do you want to get down? Okay, bye. See you. See you. I was talking about my husband being spoiled. That's what it is. Is My dog took three separate dumps on my bedroom carpet today. And I love her. I spoil her. She's just my whole heart. So I get why Sean was spoiled as a child. And again, maybe he wasn't. Maybe he was just loved and I wasn't. <laughs> that sounds really funny. <laughs> Isabel. Hi, little bug. Come here. Come here, baby. Yeah, she's so little cute. You're going to die. Right? Oh, baby, we already saw you. Isabel, come here. Sansa. Blair Witch style right here. Let me just... Sinzabel, sit. Can we sit? Can we sit? I have no treats, but... Moss. Hi, Isabel. Hi, honey. Hi. <laughs> I don't know if you caught that. Sansa tried to give her paw, and that's because she thinks I'm going to give her a cookie, but... Uh, we're not. No cookies. So I think I'm going to wrap it up because it's getting late. It is 10.42 p.m. And I still have to work out. Why the fuck am I drinking wine? Damn it. Um, I think I'm going to edit some vids. I'm really excited to upload these. And I really hope, I really hope you like me. <laughs> I'd say I'm kidding, but I'm not. Stick around. Let me know what you think. Don't be a giant asshole. Like, I'm not going to be that person who's like, you know, oh, if you ever say anything bad to Libby, she just blocks you. Like, I'm I'm not. But, like, just don't be an asshole. Don't you kind of feel like we have enough assholes in the world? Why would you pick a fight with a stranger on the internet? So, yeah. Log that up. Up in your noggin. Hope you guys have a good night or day or whenever you're watching this. Like, how do I end things? I've never been good at conclusions. Like, when I'm writing papers, when ending relationships, I usually just wait for them to dump me. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to keep talking because I don't know what to do. <gasps> what do I do? Oh, I know. I'll just pretend I have somewhere, like, really cool to be. And I'll, I'll end it with a quote. Something inspirational. Okay, got it. Oh, it's getting kind of late though. So I'm going to get back to what I was doing. You do the same. And remember, if you like it, you should have put a ring on it. Good? Yeah. Okay.